There was one match in particular in my senior year, and I lost to a guy who was up uh, set in 4-1 against the number one player in the country. I got tight. I didn't have a way of dealing with that situation. I thought of the score. I went ahead in my mind, and I lost that match. And that was certainly a match for me that made me realize, again, how critical the mental game is. About the time I came out with Fearless Tennis, I was able to tap into this feeling of playing freely, this feeling of committing to my shots, and not doing that through thinking, but doing it through physically being aware of the feeling and committing to it. We're brainwashed to focus so heavily on whether we're gonna win or lose, but we don't know if that will happen. So we have to embrace the process. All of what we're doing now is a culmination of 20 years of, and really 40 years of competing, but also thousands of players who've been affected by my work. And so it's exciting because this material is available and it really works when you are open and you apply it. I have found that this invariably helps players transform and play their best. I don't want other players to feel like they learn these lessons when it's too late.